Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to make a rough sawn beam like this. I chose to use standard pine, mostly because it's the cheapest at about $5 a board foot, but also because I really don't need a nice clean surface. In fact, the more imperfections, the better. But I did get fairly straight boards and ones that did not have any big splits in them. Typically you would build a shape something like this so you can attach it to the ceiling like that. In my case I'm trying to cover this open space along the sides. A 1x8 and 1x6 together should work nicely. I'm going to use a finish gun which shoots those kind of nails. If you don't have that you can simply use finish nails and a hammer. First we'll put down a bead of wood glue. Then we put our beam together and nail it. Wipe off your glue drips with a paper towel. If you get some gaps like this, it's best to crank down on them with a bar clamp like this and throw a few more nails in it. Now for the fun part. We are going to rough up the flat surfaces with an electric chainsaw. So you're going to have to learn your own technique as you go. But the basic idea is to drag the running saw across the wood like this at maybe about a 15 degree angle. And the whole point is to remove all of this smooth surface and make it rough. After chainsawing, you should be looking something like this. After all that roughing work, believe it or not, we're going to sand it back down just to remove all these little frays. I'm using super coarse 50 grit sandpaper. As you can see, it still has a really rough look but just doesn't have all that stuff on it. Look carefully for any spots you've missed like this and hit them again with the saw and the sander. Make sure you grind off all the square corners. It takes a little less pressure, but you really do need to do it. If you want, you can stop here with the natural look or maybe put some tongue oil or polyurethane on it. I'm actually gonna stain it a slightly darker color. I did a few sample boards and held them up against my brick and metal ceiling and it looked like special walnut was the best in my case. After shaking the can pretty well, I'm going to apply this with a cheap disposable brush called a chip brush and then wipe off the excess stain with a paper towel. There's my beam all stained and there's the first beam installed. Thank you for watching and good luck making your rough sawn beams.